Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris from My Handyman. And I want to teach you all those little things, chores and projects around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Now, if this is the first time you're seeing any of my channels, any of the videos on my channel, please subscribe, please subscribe, please subscribe. And let's, what I want to show you today is really kind of, kind of interesting, but kind of cool at the same time. And it all costs about 20 bucks. I made a boom for a camera arm. You got to see this. This is pretty cool. All right. So these are the parts that I actually made. Now this is a four inch PVC pipe. And this is a two inch PVC pipe. I got a little clamp tripod. I made a small piece of wood, another two inch piece of pipe with an elbow and a reducer down to a half inch piece of pipe. And this here is some foam for insulating pipes, another small tripod. And I, of course I drilled holes in specific areas and I had to cut out this area here. Now this is quite, quite the monstrosity you're thinking, but let's see how all of this is actually put together and what it exactly does. All right, so the first part of this actually is this pipe that's here. And that, like I said, it's a four inch PVC pipe. And what I had done was, is I cut two inch holes front and back of it. That slicing down at the bottom was for this. I made this nice and deep like this to accommodate different thicknesses that you wanted to attach this to. I cut out a rectangle on this side as well as this side. I slipped in a piece of wood just like that so it penetrates and goes all the way through and then this way this clamp will clamp not only on top of that piece of wood but underneath your surface and that's what this cutout was for. So, so you can see that cut out here. And then I can still get my hand in here to do the clamp. So now you see where that cutout it was for. All right, so now you're saying, well, what about these holes on the sides? Well, let's take a look at that. All right, so I'm gonna start putting this together like this. Let's start using this one here, okay? We're gonna put this into the hole in the back like that. All right, so now I've got a boom that sticks out. Now, this is here for a specific reason because when I'm using the camera that I've got in my hand or my larger camera, I put in this little tripod, okay? And what I do is, is I insert it into here And then it looks like that when it's put in there. And then I can put my camcorder right on top of here. I can screw that right into there. And then you can start looking at things going straight down with all those videos you've seen of somebody going like this. I can put this together. Look at this. This is how this works like this. And you've got that camera that's right there pointing straight down. I also have a, a different boom. And I'll show you what that is. So that's this one here. So this boom goes in like this, like that. And what this boom does, as you can see, comes out and over, especially if you have, let's say the camera that I'm on, I have a small camera that doesn't twist around and I can put it onto this small tripod, which is put into the smaller tripod goes into the inch and a half pipe because I've got the two inch, two inch pipe, two inch elbow, a reducer going down from two inch down to one and a half, one and a half inch or a, a half inch uh, pipe insulator going in only about this far just enough so this stuff stays nice and firm. And then this way, 
this camera can stick out like this and actually be able to record. If it were sticking straight out, then you wouldn't be able to see what's going on down here as well as if it were this way. Instead of this way, you want to record this way. Eh, we'll figure that out later. Then I've got these holes. You say, well, why so many holes? Well, that's for your distance down here. If you need it to be a little bit further away, I can raise the boom up to different holes. And I've got them at 18, 24, 30, and 36. 18, 24, 30, and 36. And then I put these holes on the sides here. Because that boom goes on a 90 degree angle, I put the, the hole, and there you see where this is going already. I'm gonna line up that hole so I can put in a small piece of dowel to go into here to make sure that that boom because of the weight of the camera on here, doesn't go or start to go like this, okay? So that's what that's for. So all of this, now this was a four foot pipe and I cut it down, of course. All of this took me about two hours to make and I didn't wanna go onto Amazon and buy anything because I wanted something kind of, kind of interesting so I went ahead and I made it for less than 20 bucks. And this is super heavy duty. It doesn't sit on the counter like a tripod. It doesn't, um, you can't bend it and break it, that's for sure, on accident. And it's going to last for a long, long time until I decide I wanna make something, something different. So ultimately, for 20 bucks, I made a boom that sells on Amazon that's equivalent to this, that runs about $100 or so. And it took me about two hours to make. So this boom is a real fun thing to make for me. I like working with my hands and I like, I like being able to be creative and, and think of things, kind of thinking out of the box. Something like this, you can do it. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. If they can do it, you can do it. Just like I did. Just have them show you how. Just like I did. Please subscribe to this channel. Please, please, please. And I'll see you on the next video.